Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. The Duke of Sussex has had an emotional reunion with his wife Meghan Markle and their baby boy, Archie Harrison, after he flew back to Canada after his final visit to the UK as a working royal. Prince Harry was spotted on a commercial flight with his security team, traveling to Victoria International Airport on Thursday, according to a fellow passenger on Twitter. The couple are now both back with their son after completing their final engagements as senior working members of the royal family earlier this week. Meghan flew back to Canada on Monday, shortly after the couple attended the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey, alongside the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, and the Queen. But while Meghan reunited with baby Archie the following morning, Harry remained in the UK for work, including meetings at Buckingham Palace on Tuesday. Harry's return to their new home in Canada must have been a poignant one, marking the start of an entirely new life for the 35-year-old. The Commonwealth Day service was the couple's final planned joint public appearance following their announcement in January that they no longer wished to be senior working royals. From 31 March, under an agreement with the Queen that will be reviewed in a year's time, they will be free to pursue their own business interests. However, that means giving up all royal appointments and sources of funding, and Harry and Meghan confirmed they would, therefore, be shutting down their office at Buckingham Palace, resulting in job losses for up to 15 members of staff. As part of their brief visit to the country this month, which also saw the couple attend the Endeavour Fund Awards, which honor the sporting achievements of sick and wounded military veterans, Harry and Meghan hosted a leading lunch for their team. This surprise goodbye meal took place at Five Star Belgravia Hotel, the goring last Thursday. Harry and Meghan's final round of engagements has seen the couple attend the aforementioned Commonwealth Day service and Endeavour Fund Awards, attend the Mountbatten Festival of Music, while also carry out some private engagements over the past week. Another analysis. How Meghan Markle and Prince Harry plan to rise above royal family, jealousy, and pettiness? Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry decided to step back from their role as senior members of the royal family. It is safe to say that all of the drama and stress that they have been under has really gotten to them, and they are adamant about wanting privacy and a quieter life for themselves and their son, Archie Harrison. Ever since the split, dumped Megxit, was announced, billions of people have been open about their mixed feelings regarding the situation. As would be expected, Meghan and Prince Harry have been attacked in the media, with many people criticizing their decision. Behind palace doors, there has also been quite a bit of tension. Megxit has been stressful for everyone, and the senior royals are no exception. Everyone is working to figure out what will happen when Meghan and Prince Harry are no longer responsible for royal duties and personal relationships among the members of the family are said to be a bit strained right now. But Meghan and Prince Harry plan to rise above royal family jealousy and pettiness. What we know about makes its effect on the royals. Drama is a natural part of family life, even for the royals. For a while now, there have been rumors about the tension between Prince Harry and his older brother, Prince William. And now that Meghan and Prince Harry are stepping back, it is thought to have gotten even worse. The brothers' relationship is not doing well at all, and there is much speculation regarding what will happen in the future, not only between the two princes, but with the entire royal family. Rumors have been swirling for weeks and will likely continue, even after Megxit is final. There have been several restrictions placed on the Sussexes. Meghan and Prince Harry's resignation hasn't been easy. Queen Elizabeth has had to place a few restrictions on them now that they are stepping down from their positions. So, how will their lives be different? Well, for one, 
the couple plans to become financially independent and will no longer be receiving funds from the sovereign grant. In addition, once the springtime rolls around, they will no longer be able to use the titles of HRH. They also cannot use Sussex Royal in any of their branding going forward. Their lives will change drastically when Megxit becomes final, as they won't be carrying out any more royal duties on behalf of Queen Elizabeth. Although some people may say that they should have expected these restrictions to be placed upon them, Meghan supposedly feels that some of the new rules aren't exactly fair. How Meghan Markle and Prince Harry plan to rise above royal family jealousy and pettiness. Do what? Life in the royal spotlight isn't easy for anyone, but for Meghan and Prince Harry, it has been exceptionally difficult. So, now that Meghan has voiced her concerns that she and Prince Harry are being picked on, how do they plan to rise above the jealousy and pettiness that is surrounding them? Well, they are going to do so by continuing to support each other the best that they can as they transition into their new lives. The couple knows that they are doing positive things and supporting good causes, and they will still do that as they focus on themselves and their family as they settle into the private life that they have wanted for so long. Meghan knows that Prince Harry has a great deal of integrity, which is something that she has always admired. They will continue to stay true to themselves as they do what they feel is right not only for each other, but for Archie as well. Another report. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have sights set on California as they create their own life. As Meghan Markle and Prince Harry close out their chapter as working royals, the couple is looking to the future, which includes setting their sights on California. Though the couple and their son, 10 month Old Archie have been living in Canada since announcing they were stepping back from their royal roles in January. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are expected to spend time in Meghan's hometown of Los Angeles this summer. This is what Meghan and Harry have always wanted, to create their own life, a royal insider tells LMT Channel. It's got to feel like an immense relief to get out of the UK and go down their own path. Megan has a big support system in Los Angeles, including her mother Doria Ragland, who works as a social worker and yoga instructor, and several friends who have been to visit the couple on Vancouver Island, where they have been staying with Archie. They love being in Canada, but they are looking at houses in Los Angeles too. Megan memorably once wrote on her lifestyle blog The Tig, I was born and raised in Los Angeles, a California girl who lives by the ethos that most things can be cured with either yoga, the beach, or a few avocados. In other news, Prince Harry and Prince William's relationship has been forever changed following Megxit. The brothers were reunited for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's final royal engagement at Westminster Abbey earlier this week. There have been rumors of a rift between the two royal couples which the palace has denied, with tensions allegedly rising with the announcement of Harry's departure from the royal family. Speaking to People magazine, a source claimed Harry and William's relationship has been forever changed since Megxit was announced. An insider said, they won't get back to the way they were. Harry is looking straight ahead at his future with his family. The source also claimed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle plan to spend more time with Archie in California, where her mother Doria Ragland lives. What's more, the insider said Prince Harry is so focused on his marriage that he wouldn't look back. Earlier this week, another source revealed Kate Middleton has been struggling with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's exit from the royal family, a royal source told Vanity Fair. To be honest, I think Kate has taken it all badly. She, Harry and William were once such a happy trio. She thinks what has happened is all very sad. In January, US Weekly reported that Kate misses her friendship with her brother-in-law and fears she'll never be close to him again, following his move to Canada. 
So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.